On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. In the last episode of On Drop Rate, we went to the wilderness and fought Scorpia and actually managed to get the pet in 1516 overall KC. But in this one, we're not going to go to the wilderness again. We're going to be in the Tsar Caves and the item we're going to go for is the Obsidian Helmet, which is a 1 in 2000 drop rate. Now, the monsters we're going to have to be killing is the Melee Tsar. They are called Tsar Ket. Now, there's two different versions of them, a level 149 and a 221. We have to be killing the 221 and up to 2000 of them because they are the only ones that drop the Obsidian items. My collection log for Tsar creatures is also completely empty, so seeing any drop is going to be a collection log pop-up, which is very nice for the dopamine. If you actually want to do this yourself though, you need a fire cape unfortunately because you need to enter this area right here. You can see that the ones outside are only the 149 and when I go in here you can see that there's still a lot of the 149s but these are the big ones, the 221 and those are the ones that actually drop the obsidian items. The overall drop table of these creatures is pretty dull. You only really get Tuckle or you get gems like these, the uncut diamond. Now, if you do have a gem bag, bringing that is really good. Unfortunately, I am a slacker and I have max combat and everything, but I do not have a gem bag. So I will have to just pick them up like this and bank them over time. Oh, nice. First Onyx Ball Tips, three of them as well, 24k. They are fairly common from these, it's like 1 in 50, and those are probably going to be the most of the money except the rares. Oh my god, the best item to get, 1 million worth obsidian plate body, very early into the grind as well, I'm like 200 kills in, so only 10% of the drop rate of actually getting that item. And we have not won the challenge yet, of course, the helmet is what I wanted, but that is a lot of money. Yo, shield drop, Tsox, Ket, Xil, I probably pronounced that terribly, but uh, another collection log item and that only took me like 50 kills or something since the obsidian play body, so we are getting pretty lucky here actually. Obsidian cape, 600, oh my god, why is that worth so much? 678k, another collection log item, I'm like 350 kills in, so we're actually getting spooned here. Oh, that's nice. Another obsidian cape. There's 700k almost each, and it's good money, but I would like to get the Obi Mall at this point just for the collection log, but yeah, 650k is definitely not bad money. Might as well update you guys on the collection log. Of course, you've seen all the drops anyways, but just seeing all the collection log slots being filled in is pretty nice. Of course, we still need the mall and any of the obsidian items except the plate body. I actually just noticed this. Look at this. These things on the wall, you cannot deny it looks like a face, right? And then like in the middle where the Tsar is, it's kind of like its brain or something. It looks pretty cool and funky as well. Okay, I can't unsee it now. They're <laughs> the big one as well. They're all over the place. During this whole grind, I'm just going to be looking at it and thinking about it. Oh no. Hey, another obsidian shield. 400k. I mean, it's really nice to see these drops. Even if I already have the items, they're worth quite a decent amount and the beams always give that nice dopamine. This guy from my clan has been here for a while now. I think he's doing Slayer or something, but that whip override is so nice. I gotta go and get one myself. Only 1 million GP for this. 996k to be exact and uh, you just basically use this on the whip shattered relics variety kit or something like that and there we go matches really well with my gloves as well they have some blue in them in the hopes of not sounding too much like dj khaled another one 
really a third obsidian cape. I mean, they are really worth quite a bit, so I'm not complaining. Pretty good. Hey, that is the one! Obsidian helmet. Actually worth pretty much the same as an obsidian cape. That is the item, though. That's, uh, like, how many kills were we in? Let's uh, have a look at the loot. The overall KC that we ended at is... 630 and we made 5.1 million gp actually not that bad i mean it looks pretty good as well unfortunately i did not get all the items these monsters could drop but we are only really missing the legs and we're missing the obi mall but everything else i got and i'm really happy with the overall loot i got very lucky in like every single regard on this grind now, because I got really lucky on the last grind, we're going to be doing another one straight away, and the item we're gonna go for now is a very obscure free-to-play item, the Shaman Mask. It's a 1 in 1200 drop rate, and it is actually a collection log item as well, so if I do get it, it's going to be a pop-up, which is very nice, and it's dropped by these creatures, the Ogres Warriors and the Ogres Shamans, they both drop it, so I will have to tally up the kills together and make sure together they do not exceed 1200 kills, so let's get into it. This area is actually a single way combat area, so bringing the cannon is worth it in my opinion, but not super good because it can't cleave multiple of them down at the same time. But it still does some extra damage, and on top of that, eventually they will unaggro you and you will have to manually attack them. At that point, the cannon is really good, it will tag them for you, and you can kind of AFK even more. Now, another thing I want to mention is that these are warriors and shamans. Meaning the warriors use melee and the shamans use magic. So the one I'm attacking right now, you can see it's shooting magic out. And I've not decided 100% yet if I should protect from melee the entire time or magic. I feel like I don't want to have to swap between them all the time. Too click intensive for me and to think about what I'm attacking at that time. Because they look very similar. I could just miss what I'm actually attacking sometimes. But uh, I'm going to try melee. If I take too much damage, I'll go with magic. This might seem kind of insignificant, but these guys actually now and then drop one to three salmons, and they don't heal a lot, but you don't really take that much damage here. And if I would bring mostly prayer potions, and then I protect from magic, I kind of realize that's the best one, because I can kill the melee guys before they even get to me and actually get any melee hits in. So if I protect from magic, I eat the salmons that it drops, I can actually stay here for probably a forever. Whoa. Wait, these guys drop rune med helmets? What other mobs in free-to-play drops rune items? Isn't it only like Bryophyta and Obor? That's pretty nuts, actually. Could be good for free-to-play. You cannot make this up, are you? <laughs> are you kidding me, man? What is this luck? Uh, there we go. Shaman mask done. Uh, the loot is on the screen right now. Yes, uh, I killed 22 of each, 44 overall shamans, and we are done. A 1 in 1200 got in 44 kills, and let's have a look at it. Oh my god, that's a free-to-play Chad item, look at that, that actually looks really good. Kind of looks like my armadillo helmet, but if you split the beak up in two, I kind of like it actually. If you follow my lead and do an obsidian grind and you also do the shaman grind, you can also look like this absolute unit. Give or take some items, you might get lucky on some items and unlucky on another one, but this could be you. But that is going to do it for this video, I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave a like, it means a lot to me if you do, and subscribe if you want to be updated on the future episodes of this series. But until next time guys, take care.